that one with you now. Okay, so this one, the maximum speed of a snowplow in miles per hour is given by S of D equals negative 5 halves D plus 30, where D is the depth of the snow in feet. So all our um, variables and stuff are declared for us. Um, the S of D is the, the max speed of the snowplow. So I'm going to put that here. Okay, that's kind of inherently given, but I just want to clarify that. If the plow can go, go 20 miles per hour, if it can only go 20 miles per hour, how deep is the snow? So the snow slows the plow down to a certain rate, depending on its depth. So if there's no snow, we would have is zero in for D like up here we just put zero and the plow would just go normal rate would be 30 miles per hour I mean they're big trucks or you know not supposed to go faster than that apparently <laughs> um or maybe they're not capable because of the weight whatever but they probably really are um in real life the plow um in this case we're saying it's going to go 20 miles per hour, so can we figure out what the depth might be? So we're going to put 20 in for S of D here, for our speed, negative 5 halves. That's the rate of change, and it's decreasing um, at a rate of 5 halves, which we could also write as 2.5, right? And then we have um, our plus 30. So if we go ahead and solve that out, we would subtract 30 from both sides. Right? And then we would get 10. I'm just going to write it up here. 10 equals um, negative, or it's negative 10 negative 5 halves D, multiply both sides by the reciprocal, negative 2 fifths. So then we get negative 2 in there. So we get um, negative 4 equals D, um, or negative negative, we get positive 4 equals D, so I would write in a sentence, um, let me just get this up over here. I might say something like the plow can only go um, 20 miles per hour when the snow is four feet deep. Okay, so make sure you get that part down, that sentence here. Part B is find and interpret the slope of the model. So the slope is, or average rate of change, or rate of change because it's linear, is negative 5 halves. So what that means, I'm just going to write slope equals negative 5 halves, so we have that down. Um, with word problems, we might put it into more meaningful language. Like we could write that as negative 2 and a half or we could write that as negative 2.5. So the negative tells me that there's a decrease, or in this um, case, it's a rate. So I may just say, you know, it's slowing down. So when the depth is um, increasing by a foot, so I can write it like this too. If you think about, um, the rate is the change, we're looking at change in y, because remember I say it's like the change in the output over the change in the input is what slope is, right? So if I think about the change in y, that's the 5. That is the depth. So it's actually, in this case, it is the change in the, um, sorry, speed the S of D, so change in S of D, which is the speed, 
okay, divided by the change in depth, which is D. And that's depth in feet of snow. So this negative five over two is saying it's going down five miles per hour for every two feet of snow. Or slows down. Five miles per hour per two feet increase in snow. But we want to try to get that more as a unit rate, like per foot of snow is easier to think of, and that's where we're going to get that 2.5. We're just dividing out the 5, um, negative 5 by the 2, and it's still a decrease. So I might write something like this. Okay, so um, just looking at this next one here, part C, horizontal intercept is when S of D equals zero. Um, so we would wanna plug zero in up here for S of D and solve, and we will get 12 for D. And then for the y-intercept or vertical intercept, that's when d is 0. We're just going to plug that in, and we'll get uh, 30 for our y-intercept. So let's go ahead and plot that. Just a rough sketch. So 30 is maybe right around here. This is s of d on that axis. And then 12 is probably right about there. Okay, so that's just a little sketch. And think about a reasonable domain. So reasonable domain might be, um, I mean, you could say, uh, this is the number of feet here. The depth in feet. So it's very reasonable to say that there is zero snow happening. We would have zero. Would it be reasonable to say there's negative snow happening over there? No. So we would want to definitely put um, zero. But I could include zero, so I'll put a bracket. And then all the way up to when the plow conks out, and I'm not going to go any further. It wouldn't make sense. So 12 is as far as I'm going to go for the depth. After that, the plow doesn't work, so it doesn't make sense to the problem. So our domain here is 0 to 12, including 0 and 12. So I hope that helps clarify and to go a little bit slower for you. Um, and we do want to oh, interpret the intercepts, too. We should write that in here. So. To answer part C fully, we would say the plow stops when there's 12 feet of snow on the ground. Oops. Um, the plow travels at um, 30 miles per hour when there's no snow. or some variation on that. All right, have a great day.